Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. We are in Norway, in Brazil, watching these bad boys going right past us. Welcome to Norway, welcome to Scania Winter 2020. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I am in Trazil in Norway and I've just been out in the Scania 730. 730 brake horsepower. It's the truck about to go past me now. It's got an excavator on the back. We went down some country roads. Uh, very cool. You've got to check it out, but look at this truck. It's, it's the first time in a Scania. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. So here we are then, this is the 6x4 Scania 730v8 in electric blue. Uh, it's the first truck that I took out whilst on this event in Brazil in Norway. As soon as I saw it in the parade, I realised I wanted to drive it straight away, so I went straight over and I jumped uh, straight in after I caught this little bit of footage. But yes, 730s v8, it was the first time I'd ever driven a Scania before, so <laughs> I went straight into the deep end. Uh, and i got to say I loved it. it, it was very powerful and I loved the inside of it and yeah it was just brilliant. Slightly wide as you can see as well so it was interesting obviously. Um, I've done a little bit of uh, low load of work in uh, wide loads in the past so as soon as I saw the trailer combination as well as the truck I realised it was one I wanted to jump in. So yes, anyway um, the next 10 minutes or so is going to be my drive for driving at this Scania so please enjoy. So on to this bit here yeah? In England, this is very slippery stuff normally. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit cautious. It just follows you, doesn't it? Actually? Yeah. It's a bit different technique when you turn and borrowing space from another. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen this bridge before, I think. Yeah. Is it in a few posters? Yes. Oh, right, yeah. Well, yeah, quite a few, I think. I think it's the uh, time we are here, here, so it's quite a lot of money here, so it's been taken. Yeah. So we're going all the way around the back again. See the wheel on the rear yeah. axle turning. This 
truck that goes up the hill fastest. Is it? Yeah. So I guess if you hammer it up the hill, we are catching the other guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. first. So that, that speed limit says 80 kilometers. Is yeah. it 70 for a truck or was it 80? 80. Still 80. Yeah. So I'm not getting used to that. Yeah. Staying in the same hotel that we are staying in tonight as well. Yes, yeah, so you're yeah. all there. Yeah. So you've been there all week, have you? Next week, yes. Been there. There are this whole event. Uh, yeah, I think there are between thousand and twelve hundred uh, hotel nights. Well, wow. so you're looking forward to getting home. Yeah, but uh, yeah, with a whole event now, with every guest, every driver, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Scania is uh, having twelve hundred. Nights at our hotel together. It's quite a bit. It's a lot of nights, isn't it? Yes. Tricky roads. Yeah, only ice. You just say only ice. Only ice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I would like you to go uh, 
35. Okay. Yeah, and get the uh, gear change, so we have uh, 12, 13 hundred RPMs. One gear, go. A bit faster. So just push back on that, is it? Yeah, I it's fine as we keep that one. Let's keep it a little bit more. A little bit more. 35. Obviously, if we don't build up the momentum, then we're just going to spin out, are we? Yeah, if it's uh, touch two. Where are we going? Yeah, I'm going straight, but. Okay. Same here, you want to get the RPM and then you stop giving gas. You just let it drop out. Okay. Yeah, so you have to just hold it. Yeah. Then it goes. Not so good. Spark up down one of these, is it? Next to this one. Okay, yeah. probably a bit, bit further than him. Yeah. Because they're longer. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. I can bring them on. Thank you very much for that. Yeah. What was your name? Mongna. Mongna. Yeah. Luke. Thank, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yeah. Got the engine off. No, just leave, leave it on. Yeah. No I problem. hope I get some more rides before the evening. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, and the second truck I drove was this one right here. It is an R650 and it's a 25 meter long truck. That's 81 feet if you didn't know. And when I drove it, it weighed 61 tons. Officially the longest and heaviest truck and trailer I have pulled. Unfortunately, my GoPro at the time was not recording audio, um, so I've had to rely on my backup audio, which isn't as good. But can't uh, not put it in, so here we go.
okay I just uh, just gone on out in the uh, one of the Scania V8s it was a 730 horsepower blue like a, an electric blue color with a, an excavator on the back uh, first time in a, in a Scania let alone a V8 730 brake horsepower and it was amazing it had so much power even though the roads were icy you could feel the power it was just pulling up a hill like there was nothing behind it it was insane but um yeah there was definitely a fine balance between finding the power to get up the hill but not too much power to spin the wheels out and i think that i did all right actually so okay the sun is starting to set and the sun just over there look it's just starting to set uh the day's just flown by it, we we sh really should be here a little bit longer we, we didn't turn up until like one o'clock and uh two and a half hours three hours later it gets dark Anyway, we're making our way up to the, uh, the off-road area because I want to do some off-roading in snow. So that's what we're doing next. This is my first off-road one. Okay, ever or? No, actually, I was I was taught to drive off-road. Yeah. When I was like ten years old. Oh. Okay. But uh. Then uh, today it's not a problem yeah. anyway. There's um, the snow is so compact now, so you just drive over. Yeah. yeah or not off the road, <coughs> but if you just stay in the tracks there, then uh, no problem. Right. It's, uh, and there's six wheels that want to go forward, so it's uh, so six wheel drive. Yeah, so it's not hard. And we have the um, low low gear series in, and we have the back difference one. You can see the lots. So the only thing is put it in drive and then push the max button to lock the lock the gear box in D1. Right. Okay. So we don't change gear in the middle of the hill. Or yeah. So we'll be pressing then, that at some point. Yeah. So we just uh, put it in drive. Put it in drive. Yeah, and then push the max button inside there. This is, it says D1 there. Yeah, D1. Yeah. So then we locked in D1, and that's uh, all we need for the. Then it's just drive. <laughs> Simple as that. Ready to go? Yeah. There we go. When I say it's a simple drive, it probably isn't, but uh, <laughs> for this one it is. So do we go over there or? No, we go up there. Just to show this track here? Yeah. Brilliant. Straight on it. Yeah. Um, the only thing you might feel that it's uh, sliding a bit, uh, but uh, try not to oversteer. Okay. Because then, uh, Nothing happens at first, and then nothing happens, and then everything happens. Then everything happens, happens, yeah. So left or right? So the, the right. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah, I bet after all, all day doing this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the seats on this one are really good. So. This is what it's made for. It's exactly that. So, is it like search and rescue this or just oh, delivery of? For uh, like mining company. Right, okay. And instead of another dump product, then you can use this one. Straight up there? Yeah. Carry almost the same load. A little bit better work environment. For a driver. Yeah. So I used to do a yeah. lot of off-roading when I was younger. That's the fun thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
it's filled with rubber on the other ones as well, but uh, this is a little more challenge. Yeah. So we just go up and to the left. Up and to the left, no problem. We save that one for the P93, so if you want to go a little riding that one as well, it goes to the right here. Go to the right, okay. We go to the left. <laughs> I was a lot harder the other day with a new fresh snow. Yeah? Because it hasn't been snowing, is it, today? No. It was a little, uh, little uh, uh, yesterday, but today it's just global warming or something. Yeah. Too hot now. The one day we come, isn't there snow? Yeah. <laughs> uh, straight on? Yeah. Straight on. Usually it's 10 below or more, 10 to 20 below. And now it's 3 plus and uh, yeah. I don't know what's happening. They knew we were coming. <laughs> Greta Thunberg is into something. I say <laughs> The all or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Down there? Yeah, we'll go right there and then keep to the left. So I'm like the two last British fellas to <laughs> try to murder my cold. <laughs> Just goes further and further out each time. <laughs> snow that's uh, been driven on for four days now. And yeah. I mean, there's no problem out there either, but then you need all, all six wheels out there and not, uh, not three. That's it. Don't need to go where yeah, we Yeah, go back there, but just wait, wait for, for these guys. Yeah, no problem. There. Some of them are keeping the wind. Too much speed through that corner. Almost killed a French guy the other day. Really? <laughs> no, I'm going to kill him. Oh, just. Just uh, got after the P93 and then uh, he walked over there and <laughs> was almost coming really, really, really fast. Do you watch uh, Formula One? No, not much anymore. No? no? I only ask because you look like one of the drivers. You look like um, Nico Hulkenberg. Oh, really? Yeah. He's a well, German. I don't drive like him, so... <laughs> Unfortunately, no. that would have been real fun to try sometime. Yeah, that one car. They really need to keep the speed up. So you go in there, yeah? yeah. 
go when you're slower than 60 around the corner and then it slides out. Um, I think they said the drive-in finishes at half four, so I would imagine the bus is sort of like five-ish. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. No Thank you. Had fun. Thank you. So, take my camera. Okay. Okay. So I've literally just been in that. It's uh, like a six-wheel drive off-roader. We went out in the snow over there. Uh, very cool. And it's like no trouble at all. It just goes anywhere. Uh, I asked exactly what it is that um, that he delivers or picks up. And apparently they do like any sort of like haulage in the wood area so yeah little six six by six off-roader they can uh, go pretty much anywhere you want <laughs> right let's go and have a little catch up with uh, our good buddy Kev he's just taking some photos social media snaps hello how are we doing <laughs> so you having fun yes cold it's pretty cold. I'm, my hands are really cold. I've got a hat, but I've decided not to wear it. Yeah, it's getting colder and colder. Uh, but yeah, no, really enjoying it. It's really good. How many trucks have you been out in? Uh, three. I've been out in three. Have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. it's, it's difficult because I've mentioned already, like, you need more time. You do, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's so much to get in. Yeah, it's so, so rushed. Like, there's. This guy's going to turn around here. We've done, what, we've done like three trucks and there's probably like. 10, 12. Oh yeah, there's more than that I'd say. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's loads of trucks. Um, and obviously there's more than just the UK lot here. There's, um, what is it, Bul Bulties or something? Bulties? Bulgarians. I'm talking Balti, I'm talking Indian. <laughs> <laughs> Bulgarians. Bulgarians, and yeah, so we're not the only guys here. So we've kind of got a share, which is fair enough. But, um, no, it is fun actually. There's someone trying to go. I just went out in. No, 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 I'm gonna try and do that tomorrow morning. But yeah, it's very short. It's a very short run. Yeah, I got it. I got it on camera. But uh, yeah. I want to go in the snowplow. That's why. Yeah, the snowplow's cool. We're, well, we're here tomorrow as well. Tomorrow morning. Yeah, we're tomorrow morning for a few hours, so we can get a few more in hopefully. And uh, yeah, we've only got about half an hour daylight left, and then uh, yeah, go back to the bar. Uh, All yeah. the drivers are going to the bar as well. So the coach, I imagine, is going to be rammed. Oh, okay. Unless they get two coaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to have to sit next to each other and hold each other's hand. hand you wanted me to do that on the my flight my over, hands didn't are blue. You? Yeah, I wanted him to hold my hand on the flight over, but the silly, silly person here decided he didn't want to book his tickets when I booked mine, so... Or just book the seat, yeah. rather. Anyway. Half three, getting emails. The sun is starting to set. And, uh, ooh. This is icy. This is icy. Don't fall. Don't fall. Last thing I want to do is fall. Yeah, the uh, sun is starting to set, so I'm going to see if I can grab a photo quickly, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Thank you, everyone who has watched this video. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching it all the way through. Uh, some of the Scandia trucks now are starting to go home. We are going home in like 50 minutes, 45 minutes, so time to say goodbye thank you very much for watching really do appreciate it hope you've enjoyed it i've had a fantastic time and a massive massive thank you to scania for uh, inviting us out fingers crossed more stuff with scania will happen in the future they have said that they've got more events going on and they have said they've got my email so <laughs> fingers crossed all goes well 
really enjoyed myself. Can't wait to do more. Thank you very much, Kanya, and thank you for watching this video. I do appreciate it. So until next time, drive safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.